What's up, guys? Welcome back. It's episode, um, I believe it's episode 6 of the Resona 4 Golden Let's Play. If not, then just read whatever's on the title up above. So, <clears throat> last time we entered the TV world, we summoned our persona for the first time. If you missed that, you know, go watch the previous episode. You'll see a nice little cutscene of Izanagi, who is the protagonist's main persona. And we are inside Saki Konishi's channel. So we just got in here and Yosuke is having the feels. So how many times do Ooh. I have to tell you? The feels, man, he knows them. Senpai's dad? Yes. You know what the neighbors say about you, right? That you a nappy headed hoe. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Dun dun dun. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. Cause she don't like you, yo. Yeah, well, in the words of that one super gutsy ninja, believe it. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. Yosuke, she don't talk to you that often. You're telling me this was how she really saw things? So sorry. That was totally uncalled for. Yes, that's how Saki Senpai saw things. That I wanted the dick. Huh? Me? That's what he wished she said. Anyways. Daddy was a real pain in the ass. Uh oh. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. What a bitch. Anyway. Hey, don't fuck with Walmart, okay? You you do not fuck with the Walmart. Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. I wish everything would just disappear. It's what a an lie. emo little bitch. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so shit. Oh shit! What was Actually, that? Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's what I'm saying. Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. Something's not right here. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I got an email. Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. Hey, hey, hey! It's called the boonies, not the sticks. Jerk. Th that's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy go lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? And what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Stop it! What a bastard. <laughs> why so panicked? I thought I was just. Why so serious? Or why's that? Why so serious? Come on, girls. Come on, boys. Come on, come on. Get your crayon, crayon. Come on, you guys definitely haven't heard that song, man. That new G Dragon. That's not true. I'm just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. Hey, who doesn't want to be the hero? I'm the hero, right? Shit. I mean, this game would suck if it was called Persona for the Golden Yosuke story. Oof. What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I'm you. Screw that. I don't know you. <laughs> you can't be me, you son of a bitch! I'm straight. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't show you that, but you can kind of figure out what just happened there. Shadow your skin. I am a shadow. The true self. Womp womp womp. Like a frog. I'll crush everything that bores me. 
But my dick won't bore you. Holy shit, what was that? Oh my god, I got hit with eight damage. What a dick. Basically, he's gonna try to hit you with a super effective move. When you feel you're about to get hit with a move that's super effective towards you, you guard and you'll take very minimal damage. Uh, because I'm attached with Izanagi, Izanagi is weak to lightning. Uh, I mean, weak to wind. Wow, why did I just say that? He's weak to wind, so you gotta make sure to defend when Yossi's about to do one of his special moves. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Raku Kaja and just boost my defense. Even though I technically don't even have to. This is a very easy boss battle. But I'll do it just for the fun of it. And he's also weak to my moves, so that's kind of, you know, like weird. Like, I'm actually stronger than him. I mean, his moves did like 8 damage to me. And my moves are doing like way more. He just guarded. I'm just gonna hit attack it. Oh, what damage. But like I said before, because I use Raku Kaja, that did almost like nothing to me. Get him with a Zeo. Super effective move. I gotta hit him with it again. Because I make Yosuke my bitch. And he's almost dead, because it's like, I guess it's an easy, easy boss battle. And he's just attacking. Don't even have to defend at all here. And as your enemy gets weaker, they start like drowsing on the ground. And Shadow Yosuke is dead. And we got 3,000 again and 100 experience. Not bad. And MC Hammer has leveled up. Oh, so he's an Agi. Look at that. He's an Agi's level 2. And that's it for you tonight. Okay. Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You... You're not me. Are we seriously gonna go through this again? yourself myself damn it it hurts to face yourself yes it does we know but you just gotta you know roll I with the punches bro i was so ashamed that i didn't want to admit it you're me and i'm you you get down to it all of this is me The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. And Yosuke now has a persona. So he now has a persona Jiraiya. Not to be confused with the J-Man from Naruto. Even though J-Man was like legit and he was kind of like a ninja too. And Yosuke's persona is supposed to be like a ninja. Since he fights with Kunai. Yeah. That was something Senpai had been keeping to a real pain in the ass huh what a way to find out you're right Jeez, this is so embarrassing if you weren't here i don't know what would have oh shut up let me look at him such a little bitch hey teddy could senpai have been attacked by her other self here probably like how it just have the shadows here. And let's go fast. And you saw this. Yeah, let's go back because Yosuke is all tired and I'm getting a little tired there too. I mean, even though I don't know why Yosuke is so tired, I mean, I'm pretty much doing all the work, fighting all the shadows, and saving hey, everyone Ted, at this point. You, so that shopping district, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world? I guess what I'm trying to ask is. 
did those places... I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they... What's the same for them? The fog does lift. I always get so scared I have to... I sensed people here twice before. So let's get this. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared. It, does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared... Yeah, you were lucky. Damn it. So that pretty much sets a story Senpai for the rest of the game. Me. When you... When alone. someone gets stuck into the TV world, you stay. have until the next fog to save them or else they, you know, die. They disappeared when the fog lifted. But they were because if you don't, then, that, you know, the other shadow, shadow selves, us, they're like shadow selves in the TV, I mean, sorry, um, Maybe like, kill them. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on them. It'll be dangerous, but we might... Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, like how you got... That seems to be the case. Anyways, we need to catch the... Shadows are born from humans. You don't even know where you came from? I don't know, Teddy, where you born from. Mostly about this world, but I, to be honest. How about you tell serious. me about this world? Who created it? Where did it come from? Why was it always here? Tell me that. I don't care about you. Of course. Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out, but there's... I'll be waiting for you guys here. That is so creepy. You need to come in from the same place... Oh, touche. You could come in from somewhere... You might show up somewhere I couldn't... Got it? Well, yes, sir. Alright, can you show us the way... Roger that. And he just materializes his televisions. Cool. Okay. Pop. And we're leaving the TV world and coming back to reality. Back to reality. Hope you don't care. I want to hear so much of the Teletubbies fellas. What? Fellas, grab I'm sorry. I wasn't an Eminem little moment there. Hey, Chie. Huh? Chie. What's up? Oh. oh the nerve. The rope got cut off. Are you crying? I'm so worried. You little bitch. I mean, scared. Stop, damn it. Stop being a little bitch. You the dick. Yo, yo, I think she wants your dick. I, I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Really? Did I didn't know that. Uh, I think we kind of did too. I mean, we, we pretty much went on a whole adventure down there and we left her there. I think. Yeah, go sleep. I'm gonna go home and, you know, play with myself. I mean, I guess I'm in a persona now, so, you know, whatever. Oh, hey, look, it's Yukiko! Oh, she's kind of kind of hot in there. Oh, are you surprised to see? Just so you know, guys, since the last video, the votes have went up. We now have seven votes for Yukiko, three votes for Chie, five votes. What did I just say? Shit. Whatever. Five votes for Rise, and four votes for Marie now. So you guys that have been watching the the or have been playing the game yourselves know about Marie already. Good job. So, oh, are you getting along with Chie? She, we're getting along. I see. She's always, Chie's very supportive, you know? So I'm gonna start acting, like, nicer to Yukiko for the time being. Until I'm able to, like, you know, tap that. But, um, if the votes change, then I will have to change my approach. In my main game, I've already wiped up Marie. And I'm in the process of doing that to Risa. I wasn't doing it to Yukiko, school, but I did that for Yukiko on the PS2 version. I want to do something different. So I did Risa on that other one. I mean, you, you tap anyone you Dad, want here, really. Oh, look, it's Nanako. Hey! Our next story is 
is an update in, at around 7 a.m. Local high school students, since the body was positioned similar, police are proceeding under the assumption the coroner's report has established the body went unnoticed. <laughs> oh, I'm stopping these right on the prepositions. Dad won't be coming oh. home tonight. Yeah, it can't be helped. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Bitch. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? I don't want to anymore. You just told me you'd be fine without me. Amagi Inn, located upstream. Vacationers are known to... Tr After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped... The manager? Oh, look at Yukiko! In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! Now that has a nice ring to it. Let... Hmm? Uh, we've heard that you're the new ma Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. So... Yeah, I don't care about you. Huh? Yukiko! No, um... This is boring. Hey, it's my future girlfriend there. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, go to the dishes, Nanako. Stop telling me when you're bored and whatnot. I don't care. Do I look like your daddy? It's okay, Nanako. Go, go wash the dishes. Wait, I'm doing housework? What the fuck do I look like? Okay, so we can check our certain trial button. So let's see what we have here. Skill. So if you have a persona who can use a skill outside of battle, like, you know, healing. Why is my stuff like... Oh my god, why am I not healed? Oh my gosh, that's not good. Uh, items, so we can heal ourselves later on. Equipped, if we have different items, apparently all we have is a golf club. We don't do shit right now. Uh, Persona, so we only have Izanagi right now, and that is Izanagi and his stats. It's okay, you know, it's nothing special. There's the status, we can check our status or um, Yosuke's status. So, we're level nothing on everything so far. We should work on that. Uh, our quest, um, we don't have any quests at the moment. And system is just, you know, system settings and whatnot. So, what is we want to do with Nanako? Dishes are done. Let's go raid the fridge. Let's go save. Let's see how long we've been playing so far. Hour and 56 minutes, not bad. An hour and 56 minutes. Let's go check the Midnight Channel! This is gonna be kind of annoying considering like who we already just rescued. Well, not really rescued, but like we were just there. So let's check, let's check it out, check it out. Like they say in Washington Heights. Yo, yeah, check it out, check it out! A peso, a peso! are predicting heavy The region has seen an abnormal... Whatever the reason, our broadcast tonight... And let's check the Midnight Channel. Is that I do not know. <gasps> well, that kind of sucks. Hey, look, it's Igor and, uh, what's her face? Margaret. Welcome. I can't forget her name. What's up, Big long. Nose? You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dream. I really, I'm not, I don't know what to say about the new design of the Velvet Room. If you play Persona 3, then you know the Velvet Room was inside an actual room. Now it's like we're inside a limo, you know, like the inside of the limo. Which isn't bad, but it's just, it looks kind of cramped. Although they do have much and more comfortable so chairs. Yes, this we do. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose thereby enacting your glow. Hold on to this. Oh shit, what did I just get? 
Joder, aquí. From this night, your destiny. There is but one price. You must abide by your contract. I understand. Wait, is he talking about contrast and has a big nose? Is he supposed to be Jewish? Because that's like such a racial joke right there. That's kind of racist that I know that, but I work with a Jew, so it's okay. Jews are awesome. They pay for my school. Don't judge me. Special? Yeah, socializing. So basically... As you wait, yeah. As you you know communicate with others and become social, this game forces you to be social for everybody else. That's why it's one of the best RPGs ever in the world ever. You uh, level up the uh, social link and you're able to boost up your personas that you get to summon. So let's say I'm friends with Yosuke and Yosuke boosts the uh, magician Arcana and I boost him up always level 10 by you know being social and interacting with him and going through his deepest darkest fears with Yosuke. Then the personas that I summon that are or that I uh, fuse that are the magician Arcana. And they're getting like super boosts and are like way more powerful. You get special abilities, so that's always a plus. Also, Yosuke gets more powerful if you do that. You know, whatever characters you're getting social links with that are in your party that you fight with, if they um, level up, they get new abilities and whatnot. So you should always be remember to be social. Half of this game is um, being outside in the real world and you know solving puzzles and quests and being social with all of these assholes in Inaba and then the other half of it is actually going through the midnight channel and fighting so it has to be us you know I tried sticking my head in the I think I can do that now could be that we got the again cool so I don't have to drag your ass with me every single time now as you find the culprit, you let me know what you do, and then I'll just sit by here with my persona and be, you know, awesome sauce. Your friendship? Yes. And like I said before, the social link just opened up, so now we have the Yosuke Hanamura social link, which gives us the Magician Arcana. Oh my god, we have a few minutes left, I better hurry up and get to a safe point. So like I said, they also get stronger new abilities. He can help someone who's knocked down. And you really want to do that because if you're knocked down, you take a lot more damage than normal. And you also can't attack. Oh shit, it's GA. Uh, oh, where's Yukiko? Oh, we were... mm. Hey, calm, calm down. down. <laughs> we don't know yet. Give her. And of course, she doesn't pick up the phone. Stop Sorry, I just had to. Oh. Yeah, but what she? Well. Another call. So she's fine, you see? She Stupid said, bitch, gonna be all worried and shit and whatnot. You got me worried. What are you talking about? Sorry, but there is a reason. Oh yeah. Well, we thought people show up on the midnight channel. I mean, it makes sense. But Yukiko-san's still here. All right, let's meet up. Do I have to go to Juness? I kind of want to save. He just bit me. What the fuck was that? Did I get rabies? Can you get shadow rabies? That's... No, it's 
I want to save! Uh, ugh. What's your number? Sorry, you're asking for my number? That's nice. We change the whole numbers. Alright. Yes, I'll watch the Midnight Channel, don't worry. And we're back home. What's going on here? It's Looks raining. Like We've still got nothing. We don't. Well, <sighs> we haven't found. If this is a murder, but if that's true, it's a serial yeah. murder. I, first this all sp I love triangle. Yeah, but no. then why did um no. Taki Kanishi get involved, yo? Same with Taro Namatami, her husband. He's been working in the city. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence, and we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with them. He's proud. Oh my god, I got two minutes left. Yes, yes, police. It's so funny because we're getting the perspective of the police, but they are slower than us. I mean, we're like way ahead of them in terms of this case. I mean, we already know that there's a, there's things called well, shadows. Yes, I can save. Great. So, um, this has been episode six of the Persona Four Let's Play. Uh, see you guys next week when we do episode seven and take a look into you know helping out Yukiko and doing all that stuff with Yukiko. All right, guys. So this is the Atenadoro. Sorry, with the nerdherd.com. And until next time, we will see you later.